Good afternoon. This is your ICSC retail news update highlighting the activity we've seen in 2017. I'm looking at what's in store literally for 2018. From Green Bay to the Fox Cities, new stores, restaurants, office buildings, housing, and yes, even the new Oshkosh Arena is rising out of the ground. Like new offices. Secure Insurance is underway in its new 300,000 square foot, $90 million corporate headquarters in Fox Crossing to open in 2019. This on the heels of other area corporations that are constructing new and or expanded facilities, including Navitas, Community First Credit Union, Acuity, Warner Electric, and Schreiber Foods. Nature's Way, the Green Bay-based natural supplements producer, is expanding its operations. The company is building a 70,000 square foot, $27 million plant located in the I-43 Business Center. It's open in 2018 or early 2019. Pop, Pop the top, top again. again. The microbrew explosion continues. Titletown Brewing has expanded its rail yard development and completed its second phase in the former Larson Candy Building with the opening of its new renovated office building. Meanwhile, across Dousman Street, Copper State Brewing surfaced on June 1st of this year in the former Hinterland Brewery after Hinterland reopened in the Packers' new Titletown district earlier in April. Adjacent to Hinterland is the Plaza, which is now open to Lodge Kohler and Bell & Health. The next phase of development will be announced soon. <laughs> Historically, a bellwether for the retail real estate community, residential activity is strong. According to the Realtors Association of Northeast Wisconsin, the average home pricing is up significantly. Most counties in our area saw an increase of around 7% over last year, with some over 10%. New generation multifamily development continues as well in both our downtown areas and suburban areas too. Most of these new projects are in downtown areas or as part of mixed-use communities that offer walkability and nearby amenities. Metro is open in downtown Green Bay, Eagle Point is happening in Appleton, and the old New Page plant is being reborn in Kimberly. The world of retail real estate is rapidly changing and things will be different. But for those who are adapting, opportunities are plenty. Green Bay's East Town Mall is expecting change as two separate developments will convert the former Cub Foods into three junior box tenants, while the mall itself will be turned inside out for additional tenants. The work at Cub is underway, while the work at the mall will begin in 2018. On the west side of Appleton, the former National Envelope property at I-41 on Wisconsin Avenue in Grand Chute will become a new home of WG&R Furniture, along with additional junior box tenants. Property development there will begin in earnest in 2018. Ross Dress for Less has created some buzz, opening new stores in Oshkosh, Green Bay, and Grand Chute. Quick Trip continues to grow with new stores throughout the region. Thank you, Karuba Coffee. Chains like Arby's and Starbucks are also making moves, rebuilding existing stores and opening new ones. And new to market retailers continue to find strength in our demographics. So while the keyboard is changing many people's shopping habits, there is still a place for physical stores. And many users are taking advantage of the opportunities. Hungry? The national trend of grocery expansion and repositioning has also hit Northeast Wisconsin. From our local share of a corporate chain's $1 billion plus store renovation plan, to new entrants into our market, and finally, one of the natural organic chains that likes us, we now have more grocery options than ever before. Fresh Time is filling this specific void. The company's first store north of Milwaukee on South of Street in Ashwaubenon is proving that Northeast Wisconsin is a market that will embrace and support such a store. Our challenge as a marketplace is to overcome the fact that to many of these retailers, we simply don't look great on paper. But hey, neither did the 2017 Milwaukee Brewers, who won 86 games and nearly made the playoffs for the first time in nine years. Go crew. Paper doesn't always tell the story, even in the Paper Valley. Supporting the retailers we want in our community is the key to attracting them and having them be successful here. More and more tourists are coming to our region. In fact, out of Wisconsin's 72 counties, four in our area are in the top 10 for annual tourism spending, including a whopping 640 million in Brown County. And all those heads? need beds. All these hotels, and yes, even this one, will all significantly add to the local room supply. But trick then for our local convention and visitors friends, filling them. Brian, did you hear we're getting 600 more hotel rooms in town? 600 rooms? What are you talking about? 600 rooms? Do you know how many that is? That's 219,000 more room nights we need to fill every year. That's 95 girls basketball championships, or 438 conventions. What are you doing to us? Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe it's not quite that dramatic a situation, but booking and hosting events will be key to the success of all these new hotels. Back to Brad. 
What it really gets down to is supply and demand. As long as you're growing supply, it's always a good thing to have more hotel rooms. Uh, but you need to grow demand at the same time and at the same rate. If those two things happen together, tourism economy grows. Packers games cannot do it alone. Attracting the year-round conventions will be key to filling those beds. The Fox Cities are doing their part. Work is now wrapping up on the new Fox Cities Exhibition Center in downtown Appleton. Even more impressive is the upgrade to Jones Park and the discussion of new office and or mixed use development nearby. Also making headlines, the Brown County Arena development is starting to move forward. The planning for the new 120,000 square foot multi-purpose expo facility has begun and will likely open in 2020. And as you'll be hearing more about momentarily, the new home of the Wisconsin herd is changing the face of Oshkosh and creating new spin-off development opportunities. So we're growing Northeast Wisconsin with new places to work, shop, watch, and play.